You know, most Americans, most Americans have absolutely no reason to fear an F-16 fighter jet approaching them, right? Unless perhaps they're in, you know, a place like Yemen or Syria. Or, as we learned yesterday, if they're in parts of Southern California, yes, an F-16 fighter jet crashed into a warehouse. We covered the story live as it was happening right here yesterday on this newscast. Now we follow up with RT correspondent Natasha Sweet. Security concerns were raised here at the March Air Reserve Base after an Air National Guard fighter jet crashed into a warehouse just across the street in rush hour traffic. Before an F-16 fighter jet crashed into this warehouse in Riverside, California Thursday, the pilot was able to eject and parachute to safety. The pilot, along with a dozen other warehouse employees, were taken to the hospital for evaluation and treated for minor injuries. Workers here at this high-performance auto parts dealer says the noise of the crash was almost deafening. I heard the explosion, I turned around, and I just seen the burst of flames from the top of the corner of the building, and I just seen the ceiling from all over the building just start collapsing. And then the sprinklers were going off. It was just like sirens going off. Fire officials say the crash is under investigation, something the military wants to look into further. Anything that may be in there is a concern, obviously not just to us, but to the military. So we're going to take whatever precautions are necessary to mitigate the incident. The crash started a fire that was quickly put out by the building's sprinklers. One worker was reportedly hit by a falling sprinkler, but employees say they're grateful no major injuries were reported. Glad to be alive and not the actual gasoline exploding and taking us all out. According to the Air Force Reserve, the jet was based in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and was flying a training mission for the North American Aerospace. Officials say the weapons aboard the fighter jet have been secured and disposed of. Now, despite no major injuries occurring, of course, the crash could have been much worse, so the investigation into the cause will continue. In Riverside County, Natasha Sweet, RT. I'm Rick Sanchez. You found us on YouTube, and that's awesome. But you know what? I'm also live every night at 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern on DirecTV and DISH and cable and satellite, the RT app, oh, and Pluto TV. I'll see you there.